Earth's magnetic poles show signs they're about to flip, exposing humans to radiation and planet-wide blackouts. I'm Diamond from the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, Magnetic Reversal News, and Shinrin Yoku, bringing you the news you need to know and the no you need to use it. Now, historically, Earth's north and south magnetic poles have flipped every 200 to 300,000 years, except right now. They haven't flipped successfully for about 780,000 years. And you're looking at a time scale for geomagnetic reversals the last 4.5 million years on Earth. And you can see the Brunus magnetic reversal here 780,000 years ago. And an excursion listed as the Lachamp. But prior to this major lull, the reversals happened quite frequently. The planet's magnetic field is at long last showing signs of shifting. And I'm sure many of you listening are well aware. There's no way to know yet for sure if it could be gearing up to flip once more or it's just another magnetic excursion. No one knows for sure. Either way, it is raising new speculation about what it means for planetary life and the future of humanity. Now, what we're looking at here is how we know about these magnetic reversals. We have these ocean, oceanographic ships that drag magnetometers across the seafloor, and they found that at mid-ocean ridges, these stripes or magnetic reversals could be corroborated from one side to the other. They matched. And that was the beginning of understanding what we will be discussing tonight. And that is our planet's magnetic field. Now, our planet's magnetic field protects us from lethal levels of radiation and from phenomena like solar cosmic rays, solar flares, filament releases, and even micronovas. These dangerous particles never actually hit us directly because upon entering the Earth's magnetosphere, the magnetic field deflects them and forces them to move around Earth's atmosphere. Some of it does enter, but the majority does not because of our magnetosphere. The prospect of that field weakening, which it does when it's getting ready to flip or go into an excursion, is quite worrisome. And it would certainly leave us without sufficient protection in our modern industrial electrical world. Now, the Earth's north magnetic pole has been wandering at 10-year intervals from 1970 to 2020, as seen here in this animation from the National Centers for Environmental Information. And it's moving quite rapidly, as you can see. Now, the Earth's magnetic field, or the magnetosphere, extends out from the electrical currents created by what some think are the metals in the core. Um, generating invisible lines that touch back down to the planet's opposing magnetic poles. A cosmic radiation expert, Daniel Baker, director of the Laboratory for Atmospheric and Space Physics at the University of Col Colorado Boulder, believes that the next pole reversal could likely render some areas of the planet unlivable. The devastation could arrive through multiple avenues. The combination of powerful space particles, space weather, or a solar outburst, like unfiltered solar cosmic rays, cosmic rays, ultraviolet B rays, would smash through the battered ozone layer and lead us the way of the dinosaurs. But perhaps that's a little overboard. Send us back to the Stone Age is more like it. Well, not that Stone Age. That already happened. But more like this one. It's coming. Our infrastructure wouldn't fare much better. Since satellite grids are linked, once radiation eats through, more will follow and fall through and fall down to Earth. Other events will cause cascading mass blackouts, among other disasters. But because we haven't reached this point yet, 
Scientists are using imagery from satellites to track the magnetic field's movements. And unfortunately, they're not really giving us real-time data. Updates happen every five years or so, which is kind of crazy. Now, what we're talking about is the swarm data. Since 2014, SWARM, a trio of satellites from the European Space Agency, has allowed researchers to study the changes building in Earth's core, where the magnetic field is supposedly generated. Their observations reveal that both the molten iron and nickel are draining out of the Earth's core, or something like that. That kind of restless activity could indicate that our magnetic field is preparing to flip. Ben Davidson at Suspicious Observers just covered today that these effects are happening not just on Earth, but every planet in the solar system and the nearby stars also reacting in the last decade. Now, protective measures could include building more radiation-fortified satellites, hardening the grid, shoring up ones that are already operational, and things like that. But it's not happening. And this is ra a rapidly developing condition on our planet, which is dire. Now, not all of Earth's polarity reversal attempts are successful. And, and this is what we call magnetic excursion. And these happen about every 12,500 years. And the last one happened during the Younger Dryas event 12,900 years ago. So we're overdue for this excursion, which we are now living. Scientists also recently established a cause and effect relationship between pole reversals or magnetic excursions and mass extinctions. Although the mainstream hasn't even picked this up and it's not in their dogma yet. They believe the opposite is true. But there are many papers that prove the role of geomagnetic field intensity and the evolution of humans in large mammals, including the one where we have up here, which there will be links below. We might not know when the poles flip, but we know we're living an excursion currently. And we're long overdue for a flip. But what we have is the advantage of being able to prepare now for what's coming. Satellites in danger as the field weakens, the grid in danger. And if we look at historical documentation as well as proxy data from paleoclimatological avenues like the GISP-2, the Antarctic ice cores, and other proxy data like tree rings, what we find is a cosmic catastrophe cycle, which happens on a periodicity of 12,500 years. The Younger Dryas event up here, and now we're living on another flexure point in that cosmic catastrophe. The last time we've been on this flexure point, we've had the onset of the Wisconsinian Ice Age, Heinrich events where massive ice dams pour out across the country across the world, the Greenland ice blitz. And now it's my supposition that we're entering a new ice age, which will drop temperatures for hundreds of years as glaciers build. And you can see here between reversals when we have a very solid magnetosphere that the earth is protected. But during a reversal, not only is the protection down, but animals that use echolocation and the magnetic field, they'll be beached, stranded, and lost. Much of the biome will be affected, especially humanity. Without electricity, over 80% of the population will not know how to live at all. Now, we know about magnetic excursions. The Lachamp, they called the largest in the last, let's say, 100,000 years but they happen regular and periodic. So that's a big heads up. Here's our timeline to destruction. And what we mean by that, we don't mean destruction of the planet. We mean destruction of the empire, the way we live, the control mechanism of governments. Today is not 2020, it's 2021. So we're up here on the chart with just a few years left until the sun wakens and 
some large events start affecting satellites and the grid, sending us back to the Stone Age for an extended period. It should happen before solar cycle max 25, in my opinion. Then we have to look forward to an extreme cold period for decades, peaking perhaps in about 15 or 20 years from now. Then, based on many studies, the sun at the lowest point of the excursion or flip will outburst, adding insult to injury. Now, that's decades away, perhaps. And we're currently living the magnetic excursion now, and it's ever increasing. So everything you do now to be self-resilient and self-reliant is critical into your survival plan to being able to survive and thrive in the future. We're talking about the ability to grow food. Protect your food and resources. Wild harvest, wild craft, and be just a general badass in being able to fix anything on your own or invent new systems without electricity. We're not here to scare you. We're here to prepare you. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance in the magnetic excursion that you're living. We love each and every one of you. Proper prior planning will prevent piss poor performance. This is a trickle down event. One thing leads to another. Small grid failures. Satellites will re-enter. Strange weather events. We may see electrical events in the sky. Increased lightning. Increased hail. Squatter man may once dance in the heavens as depicted in petroglyphs. Share this with like-minded people. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And start preparing now. Time is wasting. Be safe. We love you. And that's a boom to knowledge. Click on one of the other boxes to gain more knowledge. And comment below.